What I wanted to talk about today is your expectation if you're in pain. Um, I think it's really important for sort of myself as a physio, understanding what you actually want to achieve and understanding where you are now and where you want to be. And obviously we have all the layers that go with that. So if you are somebody who's in chronic pain, there's a massive amount of layers that go with being in chronic pain. So, you know, you you may have had pain for, to classify this chronic pain, it generally needs to have been ongoing for over three months. And when you've been in that situation where you have a lot of pain, you obviously, hit that I don't know when how are things going to get better how am I going to manage is this it for the rest of my life is there anything I can do to help myself um, and then as things progress and as things get you know further down the track to the point where you maybe have had pain for a longer period of time then what we are now looking at is fear fear that this is it and is this me forever? Um, fear that, you know, you might not be any better than you are that. And also um, grief, like grieving how you used to be and how things used to be when you were able to do stuff. And also anxiety, anxiousness, anger, resentment, shame, that you've maybe let it go this long. Um, but one of the biggest things, besides all of that overlay that pain has, you know, it's also very fatiguing and we're frustrated and everything else that plays into that. If you have maybe not done too much yourself, so maybe not had the right path taken, maybe, you know, you've not quite done the right thing or you've tried to do the right thing and you haven't had those results that you were after, there's also the overlay on top of that of resentment, but also shame that you should have done more. Maybe you should have taken action sooner. And then we, we tend to go into it also that self-loathing. And this isn't everybody. So I'm making big generalizations here, but trying to touch on the different things that play into that whole I'm in pain and what can I do to help myself? I'm in pain and I should have addressed this a long time ago. I've let my I've let myself down. I've let my family down. I've let my spouse down. I've let my kids down. Whoever, you know, co-workers, whatever it is. There's a whole heap of external stuff that we then internalize. And when we also spend a lot of money and we've actually tried to get results and we haven't maybe had the results that we wanted so maybe we've spent some money on stuff maybe we've you know had that whole I've been down the track and you know I've certainly been there I'm a physio um, I have been a physio for 30 years and I treat and manage people who've been in pain and me myself when I was younger I was an artistic skater and I ended up um, skating from when I was 6 to 21 and I retired mainly Obviously life got busy, I was trying to qualify to be a physio and all the things that go with that, but the main reason I retired is that I just couldn't stand and jump anymore because my back was so painful and it was a sharp jolt into my spine. And I suffered with pain for a long time. And being in the physio profession, a lot of my colleagues would say, you're a physio, sort it out yourself. And the, the biggest thing is sometimes you can't sort it out yourself because you're too close. And sometimes we don't see what we do. It's like, you know, you see the old adage, if you want something done, don't go to, you know, look at whoever else it is. You don't go to so-and-so for it because they never help themselves. So it's quite true, you know, as a physio, we can't generally see what we need to see because we know a little bit too much and we're not looking for the right things because we just discount different things. And I went to a very, a, a, just through doing various courses and they would ask, you know, do you have a problem? And obviously they want to demo on someone that has a problem. And a lot of the issues that I saw was, oh no, that's a bit hard. Oh no, that doesn't fit right. Oh no, that's not fitting the normal picture. So nobody ever really helped me. So I went around my own way of trying to help and do things and manage things because I thought there has to be a way. I can't have all these experts telling me that's it, I can't help you, that's it, I can't help you, that's it, I can't help you, because if you're in your late 20s, early 30s, the last thing you want to know is that's you done forever. So 
I'm very aware that sometimes what it is is that we're limited by who we see. We're also limited by the expertise of that person, but also limited depending on what their area of expertise is. So if you go to an orthopedic surgeon or you go to a neurosurgeon for your spine and they tell you there's nothing I can do to help you, what they're actually saying is there's nothing surgical I can do to help you. There's nothing injection wise I can do to help you because that is my remit. So within that remit, I can't help you. It doesn't mean no one can help you. It means that they can't help you. And so then you look further. And the reason that I want to touch on what is your expectation is because at some point, we are all looking for answers. We're all searching for answers. We're all searching for someone to help us. And we're all searching for that, you know, miracle that might happen or that, you know, one day I'm gonna wake up and realize it was a dream. A bit like, you know, Pamela in Dallas um, when it was all, you know, we just wiped out and it was all a big dream. Um, sometimes it does sometimes we just have that oh my god this is what I need to do and off you go or you know one day it's great the majority of cases we actually need to put in some time and effort and the majority of cases we actually need to then go yes we actually need to do something proactive and whoever you pick whoever you choose to help you with that you need to have faith in their ability in that what they say to you needs to make sense. What they say to you about what happens and how they're gonna get you from A to B needs to make sense. And you need to buy into it. And you know, at the end of the day, if you don't buy into it, and that doesn't mean paying cash into it, it means that you need to buy into it with your body. And that means that your body is in agreement, your brain is in agreement, your emotions are in agreement that yes, that makes sense and I want to do this. Not, I'll have a go, yeah, I've tried nothing else, but you still buy into it. That way you get results. And, you know, I've had a few clients that I've seen and have been very frustrating for me because within, you know, five minutes it's been, you know what, I've thrown thousands of dollars of cash at this and I want your opinion. And then I give my opinion and I say, this is exactly what I would do with you. If you wanted to come and see me, this is what I would expect. And this is what I would do with you. Has anyone told you that before? Has this been what you've been told to do before? And sometimes it's little bits of yeses and sometimes it's no, no one's told me that. And sometimes it's a mix of both. Yes, I've been told that, but nobody's told me how to go about it and do it. And obviously, yes, that, that makes sense with what you're saying. Now, if, you get that and you buy into it and you're working with it, you can then get that energetic exchange of, this makes sense, let's start the process and we start seeing how that plays out. And for me, if I'm explaining that to you and you don't get it, and if I'm explaining it to you and it doesn't make sense, I will try and make it make sense for you because we all digest things differently. Some of us are oral learners, some of us uh, learn by sight, some of us learn by touch, some of us learn by, you know, just going through the motions ourselves or we have to watch and then repeat. It, it, we all learn differently and we all accept things differently and we're all in different states of pain. It doesn't matter whether your pain level is two out of 10 or your pain level is 10 out of 10. To you, it's your pain and your pain needs to change. And whatever you've been told and whatever you know people are explaining to you, you need to be on board with that. And that I feel is the most important missing piece is that you need to be on board with it. And when you come to somebody like myself, come with open an open brain. Come with, you know what, I've seen six people before and they haven't been able to help me. Maybe this one can. Because if you're coming with an open brain, you're open to possibilities and being open to those possibilities can be magical. So think about that the next time that you are potentially working with somebody because it makes all the difference and it could make all the difference for you.